All right, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble this Lenovo IdeaPad 300, uh, more specifically 300-15ISK, and then they have model name 80Q7. All right, so while we're not going to really take apart the whole thing, we're just going to open it up to replace the hard drive because we're upgrading it to an SSD. It's super slow. There's two screws here. Okay, pretty simple. Keep the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. I just put them flat side down like this on my desk in the pattern I remove them. There's only two here, so very simple. All right, if this video helps you out, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, so this screw seems to be stuck for a bit. All right, there we go. It does need to come out though. There we go, so we got those two screws out. Next, I'm gonna use my fingernails. You can use plastic pry tools, whatever, to get into this gap here. Or you can even try and use these uh, rubber nubs and use your thumbs here to try and pull this down, just like that. You can see, that's probably the easiest way. We'll flip this out of the way. Okay, here you can see there's two slots for RAM. Um, you have access to, I'm assuming this is the CMOS BIOS battery connector. Uh, let me actually zoom in for you guys here a bit. Okay, wireless card is here, so you do have access to that. I don't know if you'll need to see that. Just like every other model, um, there's one screw, it pops up at an angle, and then you can pull it out. The wireless antennas, you do want to pull up from the tails if you're not sure how to do that. I do have videos showing how to do that um, for other models, so you can watch that. I usually don't do it because sometimes the solder points for the... Um, connectors are not good and I've had some where it rips off in and gets stuck in the antenna connector it's pretty rare but it does happen sometimes so I don't want to kind of do extra stuff when the customer just came in for a hard drive upgrade all right anyways the RAM we're gonna pull these two tabs to the side this one's very low risk so it pops up like that then you can go ahead and pull this out here you go all right and you can see it's a four gig PC3L 12800S. So you can, if you want, you can actually get two 8 gig sticks um, to put it back. You put it at an angle like that and then you click it down. Make sure that you push it all the way down into the slot. All right, you can see part of it is the gold pins are exposed. That's normal. And again, there's a second slot here. So if you want, you can get two. Um, you can get two 8 gig sticks to have 16 gigs total. Again, you have the BioCMOS RTC real time clock battery connector there but the battery is actually under there you can actually see it um, so if you want to actually remove the battery or replace it you will have to physically take the whole laptop apart I'm not going to show that again we are just upgrading the hard drive to an SSD and we can access it here so we're not going to be taking the whole thing apart all right so we got four screws holding the hard drive caddy into place so we're going to take all of those out okay just like this and we're going to have to transfer this over to the SSD, of course. All right, now that we got all four screws out, we're going to slide this whole bracket <clears throat> over that way. So just pull it over like that. All right, and then we got four screws holding this into place. This computer was super, super slow. And the hard drive uh, activity in the task manager was showing 100%, even though nothing was happening. So... Yeah, that's why we're changing or upgrading the hard drive to an SSD. Luckily, we were able to clone over the hard drive, so it was having issues reading and reading really running really slow, but not enough to the point where it was not able to clone, so that's good. All right, so now we got those four screws out. We just lift this out just like this, okay? And we'll set that aside. Again, this is just a two and a half inch SATA hard drive, okay? And then we're putting a two and a half inch SATA SSD you can put any two and a half inch SATA drive into here actually and you should be fine. Um, if you're wondering what SSDs I recommend, um, you can go ahead and ask in the comments section below and I'll actually um, send you a link for one. Uh, depending how much storage you want, let me know and I can find you a link for that. Um, usually I go with Samsung, SanDisk, Crucial, and Kingston. Okay, there are a few other brands but uh, so far I've been having good luck with those. Haven't have been having any like fail um, I've had a few other brands that I tried that had issues so I kind of stopped kind of trying all the different brands especially since I have to do this for a living and I can't really be experimenting on customers computers all right so we're gonna drop this in here 
Okay, I accidentally, this thing got kind of bent out a little bit. So we'll slide this back one in first. All right, there we go. And then we'll slide this forward, make sure it's going into the connector down there and then push that into place, good. And now we just get these four screws back in. Very simple, straightforward. The battery, I'm not too sure if it comes out easily. Um, normally what I would do if I was trying to figure out things like that, um, I would look for the replacement parts and then see uh, what the part looks like. And usually from that I can figure out how it is removed. In this case, I'm assuming, I'm assuming you might just remove the two screws that have the picture of the keyboard, but possibly not. All right, anyways, we're going to zoom back out. I'm going to put the bottom cover back on. All right. Yeah, and this was just a very simple, straightforward, short repair or upgrade kind of thing. Push this back into place using these rubber feet. Okay, and then get the two screws back in. Um, this tutorial is useful if your hard drive is broken. You can put a new hard drive, but you will have to reinstall Windows. If you need help um, figuring out how to do a reinstallation of Windows or get a Windows boot drive boot installer, um, just let me know and I can help you with that. All right. Anyways, we're going to power this up, see if it boots up okay. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It looks like it's booting up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, it's doing an update. All right, anyways, let's drop this spike.